You've probably seen this headline, Tylenol causes autism? That's because the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is expected to release a report linking Tylenol use, that's acetaminophen, to autism. This claim comes from a recent review of studies that linked using Tylenol during pregnancy to autism, ADHD, and other neurodevelopmental disorders. I'm a Harvard-trained researcher here to understood with a doctorate in population health sciences. And because it's a lot more complicated than just cause and effect, here are three things to know right now. Number one, what the research says. Researchers looked at 46 studies on Tylenol use in pregnancy and outcomes like ADHD and autism. The results were mixed. About 60% of the studies found that using Tylenol can make it more likely that a child would develop a neurodevelopmental disorder. The other 40% found no connection or even a lower risk. Number two, why the findings conflict. Another issue is that some of the studies that found a link didn't ask important questions, like whether the mom or dad had ADHD themselves. Studying pregnant women is incredibly difficult. Ethics put the mom and baby safety first. That makes certain questions hard to ask and even harder to answer. Number three, what this means for you. If you're pregnant or already a parent, this probably feels pretty overwhelming. Maybe you're asking yourself, did I mess up? Let me be clear. No, you absolutely did not. Tylenol is often the only safe option for pregnant women to treat fevers. Taking care of yourself is really important. To date, the FDA has not found clear evidence that the appropriate use of acetaminophen during pregnancy causes adverse pregnancy, birth, neurobehavioral, or developmental outcomes. So if you're currently pregnant and feeling concerned, talk to your OBGYN. And for the most up-to-date information, head to our article on understood.org. We'll continue updating it with new details as they come in.